So the second that you think you know a place really well or um, feel really confident on a, on a hill is when you can get yourself into trouble. I've done it so many times. I'm coming into my last hit, I'm like, all I have to do is land this last trick and I'm good. And then you hit the ground and you like, oh my God, why? There's definitely a physical part of our sport up to about like 20% and then <laughs> from 20 to 100% is all mental. And I never believed that because I've always been physically a hard worker. I was like, you can work for anything, you can get there with hard work. And then you get to the highest level of the sport and you realize that everyone does that. That part is the easy part actually. I work a lot of my mental side through meditation and yoga and, and just visualization and, and I've found that since I've started those practices it's really helped me in competition, it's helped me in big mountain riding with you know negating fear and that sort of thing and I mean I would say it's like 70 percent of the of the game. You have to be focused but ready to scare yourself and at the end of the day when you do end up scaring yourself and you learn something new that's where the reward is, I think. It's 90% mental. So what separates us is like on race day, um, who can manage the nerves and who has the best kind of mental game to, to first like cope with the, the scariness and the, the, the intensity of what we're doing. Because the, the World Cup downhill tour, I mean, it's intense. We're going 90 miles an hour. There's a lot of risk. Since the day I started snowboarding, I have always ridden a hundred times better when I'm having fun. It's like showing your passion through what you're doing and being able to portray that. Sometimes if you need to step away and do some visualizing, you can do that, but we try to keep it pretty fun. I mean, we've been at the top before and had like a dance party. There's some days where I just let the nerves kind of take over and I can feel that first in like my legs. I get these like jello legs or where my muscles don't always feel like they're working right and I know pretty much from that point in that day that something's not right. My main thing is to kind of take a few deep breaths and I usually get a little bit of jittery legs because of the nerves so I do a little bit of a jump or a turn or something. For me to free myself I have to turn the brain off. I have to remember that I've been skiing for 28 years and that the instincts are there, the muscle memory is there, and that the fear that exists in your head is, is just something you put there and it, your ability to overcome that is stronger than the fear itself. I mean sometimes I'm like, what's going on? And other times I'm super zoned in. Um, sometimes I'm trying to drain out my thoughts with really loud music <laughs> if I'm really nervous. But nerves are good, it makes you feel alive. When everything kind of comes together, it's the easiest thing ever. It's like walking. I don't remember how to walk. I don't remember learning how to ski. Um, it's just ingrained in me. Everything becomes simple and easy and effortless. Everything turns into slow motion. I see where I need to place my ski. I see how I need to move over the terrain. It's, it's super simple. And when I feel that, you can just see it in my skiing. I'm, I'm tight. I'm aerodynamic. I don't falter. I, I'm not searching for balance. You're in that zone. It's pretty wild. Getting to the bottom of that run, it's like coming out of a trance. It's super crazy. And then you just hear the crowd finally, because during the run you can't really hear anything. I have fun all the way up until the finish line, and then I just don't want to really see the results at all. I think of it more as like an art form than I do as a competition. Beyond that, I don't really, honestly, I really don't care that much about winning the contest too much when you can accomplish something that you didn't think was possible or that was beyond your defined limits, then you start to really open yourself up to what else is out there and what else is you can do and, and accomplish in this life.